The first time was like doing a substance on set. As soon as it bled into my work, I knew like I had a serious issue. Hi, I'm Nicoletta Heidegger, and I'm a licensed marriage and family therapist and sexologist. Hi, my name is Sky Blue, and I am an adult film star. Sky, I'm so excited to have you here today, and we are going to be chatting a little bit about some education tips and information around sobriety in the industry. Uh, welcome. Thank you so much. I'm excited to be here. So what makes this a topic that feels near and dear to you? Um, well, I've been two years sober myself, okay. and I feel like I struggled really, really hard with it to kind of get to this point, because I feel like this work is so, so difficult and takes such a mental strain on a person that you really want something to relax with and turn off your brain at the end of the night. Mm -hmm. And I feel like a lot of people, their crutch is substance, alcohol, um, and it's really, really hard to get out of that loop, especially mm -hmm. when work's not changing. Yeah, and not just in the industry, like most people I talk to who are feeling stressed out at work, like the easiest thing that they turn to is something substance-like, or, or not substance-like, even Netflix, binge watching Netflix, mm -hmm. that's mine. Um, <laughs> like anything, like you said, that's like a quick dissociation. Yeah. But then we're not actually dealing with the stress, we're just like pressuring it down. Mm -hmm. If you don't mind me asking and you're willing to answer, has there been anything that's helpful for you in dealing with like the stress or pressure of this work so you're like okay I'm sober so what instead <laughs> right yeah um so I had like crazy substance abuse problems and my therapist helped me through it and gave me the helpful advice of if you just focus on literally anything else for 20 minutes the feeling of want will go away was um, that true for you for me, it helped out so much. Um, so like, if I can make it 20 minutes, I can make it longer. Yeah. <laughs> um, also, just having something in your hand, having a water or ginger ale to feel like included if you're out doing social things. But mm -hmm. I think that my like thing that I switched on to was um, doing something like constructive for myself, like reading mm -hmm. a book. I feel like <laughs> that if I got into something really juicy, like reading, um, that. I kind of wanted to stay, you know, awake enough to finish reading it. Yeah. I don't know how this lands for you, but I feel like there's still so much stigma around like adult work and in the adult industry. And so I don't want to like add shame to that, but then I feel like sometimes there's this struggle when people are struggling in it, just like you might with any other job mm -hmm. when things get stressful. Um, sometimes people don't talk about it because they're like, well, I don't want to show that like this and that because then people are like, oh, well, you're drinking because you do porn. <laughs> it's like, yeah. yeah, sure, maybe there's stress about about the work and maybe there's an issue in the work that you're doing and lots of people numb out with that because of their job. Mm -hmm. And so I'm, I'm wondering for you just like, yeah, what kind of led you to this place of being like, yeah, I need to get some support around this and, um, um yeah. For me, um, the first time was like doing a substance on set. Um, mm -hmm. As soon as it bled into my work, I knew like I had a serious issue yeah. and I didn't want it to continue. I also like looked in the mirror and I was 20 pounds underweight. Like you could see I was severely going through something. Yeah. <laughs> um, so you weren't feeling good and it was yeah. affecting all, all kinds of things. Mm -hmm. And I just, I knew that nothing would change if I was on the path that I was on. Yeah. Um, because there's, it's really hard to reach out uh, when you're in this work, of course, because of the stigma, and there's not really any self-help guidebook, you know? Um, our agents can help so much by giving out, um, you know, pamphlets on, do you feel stressed at work, do you need help? But it only really goes so far, and sometimes people don't even have the money to access those things. Mm -hmm. Any tips for like how um, agents or people in the industry can do an even better job of like helping people connect if they're needing support? I think first off like the stigma around drugs needs mm. to be uh, So just have, wiped doing what you're doing which yeah. is talking about it. Mm -hmm. Thank you, know, you for talking about of it. Of course. Everybody goes through it at some point or another and yeah. um, I feel like really just offering help and support rather than shaming them for doing it in the first place. Mm. Everybody's going to use a substance at some point and I feel like the shaming of it really makes it harder for people to reach out for help even more so mm -hmm. and I know even outside of this work 
Mm -hmm. It's really, really difficult. What have been some of the, like, if you're comfortable answering, mm -hmm. like, the biggest stressors in adult for you? The award seasons and yeah. conventions We're are always the biggest right now. ones. <laughs> um, Just being around a lot of people. Yeah, I feel like um, my social crutch was always to drink, so it's still kind of one mm -hmm. of those relearning processes, you know, holding something in my hand to keep me yeah. away from it. Um, yeah. But this is definitely one of the bigger stressors. But mm -hmm. in everyday life, I feel like it's it's definitely the feeling like you have to be around 24-7. Mm -hmm. um, if my assistant needs something, that I need to be able to talk to them right away. Mm -hmm. um, somebody might want something right then, message me, like giving me an offer, and I feel like I have to do it right then because I'm losing out on something if I'm mm. not. Um, and really, for, for that, it was just putting down the phone, like yeah. scheduling time of like, turning the phone off completely yeah, and just disconnecting. I'm really grateful that you were open to share and, and like you were saying, this is such an awesome step for people to hear and connect and be like, oh, I'm normal and this is something that I'm struggling with and mm. I'm not alone in that. Thank you so much for giving me the opportunity to talk about it. This yeah. so fun. <laughs> yeah, and thank you everyone for tuning in and hopefully this is a some good educational tips to help you get started on your journey if you're wanting to get sober and needing mm -hmm. extra support. Talk to you next time.